Hello friends, welcome to my channel Civil Smart. In first part, we have designed a cantilever retaining wall. We have find out the depth of the foundation below the ground level. We have found out the initial sizes like toe length, heel length, vertical height, total height of the stem. And we have also find out the all the forces, all the forces on the soil below the footing, all the movements acting on the wall. We have calculated the Ka and Kp has been calculated by this Excel sheet. We have already find out all the checks against the overturning, check against the soil pressure of the footing and we have check against the stability. So if this is unsafe in our case, then we have done the design for the shear key. Now in the second part, we are going to design a toe slab. We are going to design a heel slab. Next step is design of the heel slab and the finally the vertical stem is to be designed and it will give you the main steel distribution steel for the vertical stem, the toe slab and the heel slab. The detailing will be provided by this Excel sheet. So let's start. Firstly, we are going to design a toe slab. I'm going to show you what is the concept behind of designing. If you grab the concept, you will easily design this sheet by inputting your data only right so design of the toe slab will we are going to consider in the toe slab firstly the pressure due to the self weight of the base slab we need to find the pressure due to the self weight of this base slab and the thickness of is already been calculated by this actual sheet 420 mm was the thickness if someone has not watched the part one please watch the part one i have already explained in detail all the steps in part one how we calculated the initial sizes right pressure due to the self weight of the base slab thickness of the base slab into the unit weight of the base slab this comes out to be 10.50 kN per meter square in the downward direction we need to draw a pressure diagram why we need uh, the pressure diagram if we draw a pressure diagram then the pressure diagram uh, will give a movement finally the against the movement the ast will be calculated that is our main aim right the q max and q minimum minimum has already been calculated by this excel sheet by these formulas 134.86 is the q max the maximum pressure and the minimum pressure is 13 points then uh, uh, this has been calculated by this excel sheet the pressure at this point the face of the stem and the rear face of the stem the pressure is being calculated so these are the um, critical phases for the movements so we need to find the movement at this phase and the rear face of the stem in against this we will calculate the movement and for which the ast will be calculated right so q3 and q4 is being calculated by this formula we are designing the toe slab so at soil pressure come below the in the downward direction is been calculated due to the self weight of the base slab so net pressure is the pressure due to the self weight minus gross pressure at the base we have to find the net pressure so net pressure uh, this is the negative direction negative is showing that the pressure due to the self weight is smaller so hence this pressure diagram will be in the upward direction we are going to assume a dia for the design of the toe slab if you are going to assume 16 mm dia clear cover is 75 mm we are choosing this d effective has been calculated 337 b against b is 1000 mm for which we are going to design design shear strength shear force is being calculated by this formula so this is 1.5 times half p max plus p3 this is net p max plus p3 into toe length minus d effective here we are going to uh, find out the design shear force from the d distance from the face of the stem right that is a critical for shear force so design bending moment is being calculated by this formula factored design force so p3 into tl square by 2 this is uh, for rectangular portion uh, wl square by 2 p3 is the pressure and for this triangular portion half base base will be p max minus p3 into tl into t uh, two third of tl that is the cg for this triangular portion right so 96 is been calculated against this we have calculated pt from this formula formula has been put up so 0.25 percent pt is required 
AST is being calculated, spacing is already been calculated. So finally, 16 mm dia, we have chosen 16 mm dia, 240 mm center to center is the reinforcement for the toe slam. Distribution steel, minimum requirement is this one. We have assumed 10 mm dia, 10 mm. Uh, then the provide 10 mm at 150 mm center to center. Development length has been calculated that the slab, toe slab for the main reinforcement it will be go inside this from the face you have to increase the length from the face towards the heel slab right so that is the development length you need to increase the length design of the heel slab the same procedure will be there the pressure due to the self weight of the base slab that is same 10.50 but in addition to that the backfill is there in the heel portion there is a backfill there is a backfill soil in this portion so it will also exert a pressure in addition to the self weight of the base slab it has also calculated h backfill into soil uh, unit weight of the soil 86 so finally total self weight is been calculated 96.56 the same uh, formula pressure due to the self weight minus gross pressure now in this case the pressure is positive direction it shows that pressure will be in the downward direction right so the same formula for the uh, vu uh, uh, shear force and uh, uh, mu you have to choose your dia of the steel if you are, you are choosing 16 mm dia dfft been calculated pvu is calculated by this formula same formula for the so we are finding the shear force at this phase right for the heel portion we have critical for the heel portion we, we need to find the movement is also at this phase so formula will be changed formula has been written over here so m is been calculated ast is calculated pt provided is finally calculated so ast provided should always be greater than the ast required distribution steel if you are choosing 10 mm dia 10 mm dia so distribution steel is 10 mm 1850 mm so he development length of the heel is 978 if you are uh, choosing a heel the main enforcement should go beyond this face rear face towards the toe portion right in 978 mm okay now finally the design of the vertical stem only you have to assume a dia for the vertical stem you should go for the 20 mm at least clear cover is 50 mm 50 mm the force due to the active earth pressure pa backfill will exert a pressure inclined portion is also there so total height will which will exert a pressure is h double dash so in this case the pa is calculated by this formula pa is calculated comes out to be 83.31 so we need to find out the horizontal component because pa will exert in this direction so we need to find out the horizontal component this comes out to be this much so finally the bending moment will be 1.5 this is the factor bending moment for multiply by the horizontal component and which will act at h dash double dash by 3 this is at the cg from the base right so finally the moment has been calculated pt required is calculated you need to assume finally the dia of the bar is 20 mm spacing is, has been come spacing provided 20 mm at the rate 120 mm distribution steel now finding the distribution steel for this stem so we you need to take average depth so average depth has been taken assume the dia for the distribution steel is 10 mm 10 mm to 10 mm center to center so the detailing is being calculated by this excel sheet now going to explaining you the detailing diagram so in this case the red portion you are seeing the red portion is the main steel always the main steel in the red portion uh, so i am telling you why the main enforcement in the back portion backfill will be there which will exert a pressure so the maximum tension will come in the rear portion so you need to insert a main enforcement in the back portion only right so green portion will always be the uh, distribution steel so in this case in the heel portion load of the soil is came on the heel so it this portion of the heel the top face of the heel will come in the tension portion so you need to provide a main reinforcement in the top 
and in the bottom portion green portion is uh, distribution is still in the both ways and the same for the toe portion uh, in the toe portion upward of soil pressure is very much smaller there so the pressure is very less but it will exert a pressure from the downward direction is maximum so the main tension steel will be the face of the tension is in the bottom portion the main steel should be provided in this direction so for the toe slab 16 mm 240 mm center to center has been calculated by this excel sheet uh, you have to provide in the red portion is the main steel and the green portion is always the only the distribution steel so this is the overall design of the cantilever slab we have designed the stem we have designed the heel slab we have designed the toe slab so friends if you like this video please subscribe this channel if you are going to calculate this manually it will almost take 30 to 40 minutes to do all the calculation but by this excel sheet you have to input your data you will calculate all the forces all the uh, sizes initial sizes within a few clicks within a minute only right so if you like this video if you want the excel sheets please do comment me this is the full course available with me thanks for watching